my channel's not doing well. It's not doing well these days. So you got to switch it up. You got to try new things from time to time. And uh, so my new idea is to shake up the concept of the unboxing video a little bit and do an unboxing out in the woods. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. I even wrote this little song for you. Let's unbox some shit in the woods. Before I get started, I hope you won't mind if I uh, <clears throat> put on a little music. I brought a cassette tape out and my boom box and I figured it'd be nice to play a little music while a squirrel back there. First time I ever had a squirrel on the channel, I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna just put this little cassette tape in for some background music. Hope you don't mind. Let's put that right there. Don't want it too loud or you won't be able to hear me telling you what I'm getting into over here. Just wait one second while that boots up. Have another sip of Dunkin' Donuts uh, pumpkin coffee. <sighs> Alright, so let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> We're going to be getting into the, um, the Atari My Arcade collection. And we're going to start with this box right here. So I got my trusty blade with me. Let me go ahead and pop that open. And I'll just a little slice like that. And then another like that and right there. You always want to cut away from you, not towards. And the reason for that is if the blade slips, then you slip out that way. You don't slip and stab yourself. Put this back in my pocket so I don't forget where it is. All right, so here's the uh, here's the first couple items. We got two things in this box. The first one is this right here. This is the uh, My Arcade Atari Video Computer System um, Mini Arcade. It's a Nano Player Pro, is what they call it there. And I'll kind of lean forward when I can to show you what's going on. Got a wonderful, beautiful afternoon out here. Really great day for this. I'm glad that I decided to do this today and not uh, when it was raining or snowing. Beautiful, beautiful November day today. So there you go, there's the Nano Player Pro. And here's the back of the box, here's what you get with it. Missile Command, Asteroid, Centipede, Warlords, Pong, Breakout. 75 different video games included on this and it's just a cute little guy fully functional um, If you don't have any of the my arcade stuff man, I'd highly recommend getting into it If you like collectibles if you like video games, I highly recommend it. Give it a shot, please. It's what we say around here so That's that Ugh. Put this over the side for just a tick Sit it right up there Next, this is kind of a little bit bigger version of what I just showed you. This is the ah, this is the uh, Micro Player Pro, and with this one you get 100 different games. Oh, games like Asteroids, Adventure, Breakout, Centipede, Gravitar, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Sword Quest, Earth World, Tempest, Warlords, among others. And as you can see. It's pretty similar. It's just that it's a little bit bigger than its uh, its brother there. This is a little brother, this is a big brother, you know. It's, <laughs> they're, they're cute little things. It's just cute little collectibles you could put up on your shelf. You could take them out of the box and actually play with them. It's up to you. But these are officially licensed from Atari and they look beautiful. They're gonna play beautifully, I, I just know it. Um, I'm gonna unbox them, like further. But I don't want to get, I don't want to get too much stuff out here. I, I mean, you know. Okay. Um, let's put that right there. Put that back in there. And now, 
if that was kind of appetizer and uh, second appetizer, this would be the main course right here. That's what we're gonna check out now. Here we go. Watch this. Same method, I'm, I'm still gonna slice away. Nothing's changing just because the box is bigger. I'm not gonna start cutting towards me just because I got a bigger box. Pay attention to the rules no matter where you are. Sit that there. Now, what's in this box? Oh boy, I'm excited to see this one. Look at this. Oh boy, look at that right there. Look at that. This is the Atari um, retro video game system from my arcade. That you've probably seen stuff like this at Target, Walmart. Those little uh, they're they're fine. They play the games. They come with uh, usually a paddle or two. They have a hundred and so games on them. But if you ever pick one up, it feels like you could toss it up in the sky and it'd keep going all the way to the moon. They're so light. They're so feathery. This is a bit heftier construction. These have LED lights that light up, that ring around the center of the, the uh, fucking joystick and then on the actual system itself. And with this one, 200 plus different games. And on this, you've got Atari 2600 shit, 5200 shit, 7800 shit, and Atari arcade games, plus some bonus games. And what I'm gonna do, is throw caution to the wind out here and I'm gonna actually open this up and take a deeper look at it out here in the woods with you. Hold on. Give me just a second because there's a seal that we've got to take care of. Don't want to slice the box because it's very nice. It's a nice box. It's, um, ah, can you see this? Can you see how the the sun dances off of this just nice right here. That 200 plus, that's actually raised. And the Atari has kind of a, a different finish on it too. The stuff is all very fancy. So I'm going to open this up and see. Oh, well, just one second because I got another seal to work with here. There we go. Is it on this side too? It sure is. I'm gonna take care of that. Here we go. All right, fantastic. Okay, let's see what's going on here with this one. Two wireless joysticks, paddle controls, game save option, fully HDMI compatible. Don't worry about that. Now here's what the inside looks like when you open it up first and foremost. So what I'm going to do is, what is this? I wonder what we got in here. It says My Arcade Atari on it. And you can see the classic Atari logo right there. I wonder what's in here. We've got, we've got kind of an instruction manual right there. Game Station Pro User Guide something else in here too. Oh, that's handy, a certificate of authenticity. This certifies that DG something, it's, it's official, that's what it's telling you. It's an official product, don't worry about it. Don't, don't stress or fret. The only person who should do any fretting around here is that guy right there. That's the only fretting that I want to see. It's that guitar. It's got frets on it. All right. So here's this plastic sheet that goes over the top. It's plastic covering case. Now look at this. I'll show you that last actually because that's kind of the main event. Now here's, here's your paddle. It's um, it's a medium weight. 
Again, it doesn't feel like if I toss it, it's gonna fly away into uh, another galaxy. It feels like it'll, it's, it's heavy enough to uh, stay tethered to planet Earth. Good action. The buttons feel nice. The A and B are, see I like this. I don't, yeah, you can see that. It's kind of a clear plastic they used on the buttons and then the, uh, the B and the A button. See that? The B and the A, they're kind of entombed in plastic that you can see through. That's neat. I like that. This is a good little controller. It's got um, an on and off switch. You got your your fucking uh, your uh, your paddle there, your paddle controls, and uh, your charging port right there. With looks like a USB C, and also a, a, a toggle switch for the lights. Because I'm guessing when you use the light up ring, probably probably use up the batteries a little bit faster just a little bit so you don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm probably going to because I think that's fancy and then finally here's the main event here's the guy here's the game station game station pro and you've got a big ass power button that feels pleasing to the touch and then a home button that also feels this this feels uh, like a legit like an arcade button. That's what that feels like. That's nice. And this is kind of a, a stainless steel. I'm not sure if that's real stainless steel, but that's what they're going for, as opposed to the old fashioned wood grain. It's kind of like an updated approach, but it's nice. I like it. And then underneath this, there might not be anything else. That's, let me confirm. I can confirm there's nothing else underneath this plastic tray. So that's what you get right there. And I'll go ahead and box this back up for myself. Because I don't have a TV out here. Uh, I'm going to have to go inside and hook this up to a television so I can actually play it. Now I could get a controller out and just start wiggling around. Imagine in my mind I'm playing Atari, but that's not quite as much fun. You might have to do that... Uh, Let's say if you were in uh, zombie apocalypse times and all of your power was out. But it's not, so I'm not gonna do that. Let me help myself back here. Yeah. Set that down. No, that's not gonna work. I'll put it right back in that box. And, uh,. Thanks for coming out with me. For unboxing some shit, uh, playing my song again that I made up for you. Let's unbox some shit in the woods. If you want to hang out for another minute while I sip on this, that's fine. No big deal. hardly spilled any of this on the way out. I thought I was going to make it all the way out here without spilling a drop. Unfortunately, my foot got caught on a vine and I stumbled a little bit and some some coffee went flying, but hey, everyone loves coffee, even the uh, the forest floor. So I don't mind sharing a little bit.